Hello there. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Okay, Kazuha. Well, yeah, so it's about the weapon. Uh, the weapon Alley Flash. So, we're just going to be talking about refinement one of the Alley Flash. So I received a question earlier when I was streaming from uh, one of my viewers if Ali Flash is good. If good for if it's good for uh Kazua. Because Kazua is my favorite character right now and uh, sorry I'm, I'm setting up some things here I'm pulling up Iron Sting because I'm comparing it to the Iron Sting okay so uh, for this video we will not compare it with her Iron Sting yeah so it has high base attack actually At level 90, 620. But it has a lower elemental mass. It has only 55 elemental mastery at level 90. So we will just be talking about refinement 1. Yeah, so it's gonna be a pretty good weapon for, a for Kazuo actually. So because uh, the base attack is high. So overall damage scales with base attack anyway, so that's a good thing. And uh, elemental elemental mastery is gonna help as well with Kazuwa swirls and for his support capability. So it's a really good value for our boy Kazuwa here. So yeah, so it's a good weapon. So, but uh, how can we get this weapon? Oh, it's a gotcha weapon. That's the. Uh, that's a thing. Well, if you are uh, low spenders, if you are a low spender, well, good luck, but if you could get one if you're pulling for that web for a weapon anyway five star weapon most likely uh, you will get one but for me I don't really uh, promote a weapon banner uh, wishing especially because I'm a very very low spender only Welkin and uh, battle pass Okay. Uh, let me think. Let, let me find some mobs here so we can have something to do. I need the mobs uh, for. That gives Ayaka's. Uh, materials yeah so I really don't really recommend this so this video will not be about comparing a Paris thing but <laughs> well if you could get your hands on one it's good so but the only caveat is for its maximum potential is because of the uh, weapon ability skill or whatever yeah. <coughs> sorry this is not scripted um, increases damage dealt by 12% 
but if you take damage, this effect will be disabled for 5 seconds. Uh, which can be really a bummer uh, unless if you have uh, Zhong Li because that's the only re very very real reliable all near 100% uptime shield uh, because uh, the only shield is really not as strong as Zhong Li so you will get hit every now and then which is really not a great thing but yeah it can be a decent weapon for our boy our boy Kazuha here but not my best recommendation because thanks to this uh, <coughs> this debuff or whatever it should it be called it's gonna be like uh, D look and my serpent's mind the only way that Serpent Spine do look for me, or well at least for me, would be viable is because would have been vi viable because I have Zhang Li. <coughs> so basically, uh, D look is just invincible because uh, my Zhang Li is a support focus Zhang Li and the maximum potential of uh, of an uh, of an F two P Zhang Li build. Yeah, he even just uses a 3 star weapon the black tassel for additional HP boost just to maximize his shield support capabilities he's not out there to deal damage he's there to uh, increase the maximum survivability of my party and especially for my character my main DPS because I'm a deal of main constellation 2 and uh, I'm planning to refine Serpent Spine to R5, so that's the only way this could be good for Kazuha. But anyway, since if your Kazuha is a support or sub DPS, he just uses his elemental skill and then swaps out. So if you <laughs> if your uh, flow is good. Uh, basically Kazuha is in and out there and when he does his CC his elemental skill anyway he CCs the enemies so the enemies can touch him if they are just small enemies so yeah it's still a pretty viable weapon for Kazuha if you don't have any other option any other better options but it will not be uh, my best recommendation personally and uh, well if you manage to find one at, mm, anyway but yeah it, uh, for me I would just prefer using just a sacrificial blade well that's my own recommendation uh, but if it's a full support because of uh <coughs> yeah I believe uh, iron sting might be better be easier to refine five well anyway so yeah so that's basically it uh, it's a pretty cool looking wep looking weapon though <laughs> but it's like a reskin of Favonius Lance reskin a Favonius sword hmm it's a cool looking weapon but I don't think the color and the aesthetics fit Kazuo as well and personally I'm not really a, a fan of weapon mechanics with debuffs unless with, with penalty debuffs unless the Serpent Spine for my D-Look which looks really cool on the D-Look on that note I'm using Serpent Spine on on my Eula but it really not looks good on the Eula so I'm not planning to to uh, uh, refine <laughs> Serpent Spine so anyway so yeah that's just me also the weapons uh, before 
I also consider the aesthetics if it, if it fits the weapon. Well, anyway, if you're just going to s do Spiral Abyss, so just swap in the weapon, your strongest weapon, if it's if it's uh, Alley Flash. If you like the weapon, uh, sure, but it's good, but not the best in my opinion. Uh, I don't like the debuff and I don't like the aesthetics. Um, the stats, uh, I'm not really impressed. It's a decent weapon, so yeah, 3 out of 5. Yeah, so I will be giving this weapon a 3 out of 5. Yeah, you, you can try it. But there will be other better options for free. Well, if you maybe run out of swords for some reason, which could happen. Well, this would be good. Yes, 3 out of 5. Well, anyway, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Uh, oh, I see the sec second ascension. The color changed to white. <coughs> yeah. Good weapon, but not great. Uh, just decent weapon, not really that good. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, just comment down below. I'll be happy to answer if I have the time. And yeah, see you in the next video. Take care, peace.